All right, it's All Access Entertainment here along with Graphic Policy and the one and only WWE Hall of Famer, Booker T. Graphic right, Policy, you take it over. Him correctly, the five time, five time, five time, five time WCW champion. It's, it's actually six time, you know, world champion. But all right, all right. It's another story. Sure. <laughs> So, sir, it's very nice to meet you here in uh, Hartford, and uh, it's absolutely a pleasure. It looks like you're doing well, but I wanted to talk to you today about this in particular. Yeah, man. So, this is the first time I've seen um, this comic book particularly, and I'm a very big Die Hard comic book fan. Would you say you are as well? Yeah, uh, from the beginning, uh, back when I was a youngster, I used to uh, sketch and do a lot of drawings and whatnot. I uh, always thought I was going to, you know, gravitate to that as an adult, but kind of straight away from it, but I've always wanted to have my own comic book, I always wanted my own cartoon. Um, Junkyard Dog inspired me, you know, having his own cartoon back yep. in the day, you know, so as well as Hulk Hogan. You Rock know, and wrestling. Exactly, you know what I mean? So uh, now, boom, um, see, I brought my first character in wrestling, uh, got a chance to actually bring it to me. And I love it, because it's so retro, but also the fact that um, you're obviously passionate about it. To me, Comic books and wrestling are a perfect marriage because what you guys do on screen is like act out a comic book in real life. Yeah, yeah. We get to suspend the imagination uh, more than anything, you know. Um, with, you know, the comic book, you know, I get a chance to go on a lot of adventures from, you know, I just watched the uh, Shaw Brothers production back in the day, you know, mm -hmm. uh, all the karate movies, you know what I mean, the five deadly venoms, you know, stuff like that, uh, you know, the crippling Avenger, you know, uh, yep. you know one of them, uh, you know, uh, you know. All, all kind of karate movies. And now I could actually know about a lot of those same stories, you know, throughout GI Joe. So, what would be your main influence in your particular branding and style of comic books? Oh, uh, man. Oh, uh, man. Uh, you know, just say, for instance, um, being able to not just um, have a lot of action, but to uh, bring the drama, just like a, a good wrestling match uh, has at the same time, you know. so. Um, detective as well, you know what I mean? Because I need, to, need you to be the thief, um, opposed to just, um, you know, looking at the picture, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, for me, um, almost like a, a, a good video game, uh, a good first person uh, shooter, you know what I mean? So, right. pretty much my style. so are you a gamer? Yeah, I love it. Mean, I got my face my PSD in my bag right now. <laughs> That's hardcore. That's hardcore. <laughs> so when it comes to comic books, you technically booker the booker because you drive the direction yeah. and you know the outcome. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, I know the outcome, but more importantly, um, I want the fan to actually be able to, you know, like I say, have fun when they're reading. Uh, be able to um, put themselves in that same position. Everybody want to be James Bond. You know what I mean? Everybody want to know what it's like to be um, Bruce Lee in the game of death, having to go, you know, from one stage, you know, to the next stage, to the next stage, yeah. and actually come out on top, you know what I mean? So, actually being able to feel that living, for me, it's, it's Last question, your favorite Bruce Lee movie? Yeah. Oh, man, uh, definitely going to be Dragon. Um, you know, the, the scene when he uh, was, you know, went underground, you know, to, you know, do the investigation, and then all the, you know, Hans men came out, and we had to have the fight scene where it was, Perhaps the greatest fight scene, I think, in um, you know, in film history. From even the perspective of what it was done in the 70s, mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's a, a scene that's ever been um, duplicated. Even with the CGI and the you know, trick cameras and stuff that we have today, you know what I mean? So, Bruce Lee, uh, Billy the Dragon, definitely on uh, the Classic is classic for a reason, you know? It's a replica of it. What I want to do right now is turn it over to All Access Entertainment. Boom! And uh, we're going to get some wrestling. Yeah. What do we got? All right, Booker T. Now, let's talk about Houston, Texas. Let's talk about the reality of wrestling. How did you get that promotion off the ground, the whole idea? How did it come about, and how are things going with it today? I'll tell you, uh, reality of wrestling. Speaking of it. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. There it is right there. Uh, reality of Wrestling, uh, it used to be called the, um, the PWA back in the day when we first started this thing. Over 10 years ago we started. And um, Pro Wrestling Alliance was uh, a group of, you know, young guys trying to come together and create something with me um, at, the, at, the, at the helm, you know, trying to run it. But it just didn't seem right. It didn't feel right. Sure. You know, um, the WWE has been around for many, many years. And that logo, 
it means something. That, 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 those three letters, it means something. And I don't think you can duplicate, you know, we were just talking earlier, I don't think you can duplicate something. So I say, guys, let's go a different route. Um, I think, you know, we need to change the name. My wife was uh, pretty hot at me because we, we would have to throw out a lot of stuff. But I said, we need to come up with our own identity. And I think um, one day I was just building around and I said, it's kind of reality and it's kind of wrestling, the reality of wrestling. And uh, so I say, I tell all my guys, we're, we're the reality of wrestling, or we're the role. We can't be like WWE, but we do want to be the best AAA form league out there, you know, uh, producing talent for the next level. Uh, reality of wrestling, um, like I said, is not, you know, ex WWE guys, not ex TNA guys, not, you know, um, ex, you know, um, anything. There are kids that's creating their own identity, and one day they're going to create their own story if they ever make it to the big time, even if they don't. Reality of wrestling, we're going to take them on a journey that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives, and I think that's what. Um, Reality of wrestling is all about. Awesome. And last question. Um, you've come from a, you know, you've had a lot of things going on uh, growing up as a child, overcome a lot of odds. Yeah, yeah. Um, being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, what was that experience like coming all that way and accomplishing something on that level? Oh, man. You know, uh, 20,000 people, Madison Square Garden, you know, a kid who didn't graduate from high school, you know, got locked up, went to prison, you know, and Ended up bouncing back somehow and ended up on that stage, you know. Um, through um, a lot of hard work and believing in myself and knowing that there is light at the end of the tunnel and just going for it, you know, and people believing in me, you know, um, showing people, you know, my, my, my heart, you know. Um, you know, when you go through certain experiences, you know, especially um, like a prison experience, you know, you have to, you know, gain trust again. You got to, you know, go out there and, you know, show people that you are willing, you know, to, you know, do the extra work. You know, to let, let them know that, hey, I am worthy. I'm not just, you know, what you may think. You know, so uh, I, I encourage all people that's going through that situation to know that it's up to them to go out there, you know, garner that trust again, you know. So for me, um, landing on that stage was awesome. But more importantly, to be able to thank the fan who uh, rode with me for over 20 years and pushed for me and raised the sides and, you know, uh, raised the roof for me, you know, way back in the day. and. You know, it, it was because of those guys that, you know, I became world champ, you know, and uh, I appreciate it. And here at Hartford Comic Con, Graphic Policy, All Access Entertainment, we thank you very much. Booker T coming out here. And any closing words for the fans? Hey, man, uh, stay tuned, man. It's a lot more to come. Man, can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> <laughs>